by World News. Today, we're on the hunt with the LAPD on a raid in Inglewood, on the hunt for one of the most counterfeited commodities coming right. into the U.S., sneakers. So they're in there right now. That's correct. Two undercover officers just walked in. They're posing as uh, customers. There needs to be a sale, right? Yes, or at least an attempt sale. Undercover agents working for Nike have been surveilling this store for months. They say they've already bought fake sneakers here. And now they're bringing the LAPD along, hoping to make arrests. Uh, that's our uh, undercover oh. officer now. Be good? All right, we're going to come in. Sit. Please! Open the door. LAPD. Hi there, how are you? Fake Nikes. For a sec. As of right now, you're under arrest. And why should we care? Those dollars are not going to some legitimate business. Those dollars are going to support drug trafficking organizations, organized crime, and in some cases, terrorist organizations. Yes, he said terrorist groups. Officials say that terrorists who attacked French magazine Charlie Hebdo financed their weapons partly by selling fake Nikes. Counterfeiting is big business, and it's big business that's controlled by criminals. Authorities are tracing the money through wire transfers. They say a lot of it goes through France and then on to the Middle East. Here in a warehouse in New Jersey, the feds say they are trying to make sure fakes never even make it into the country in the first place. We're looking every single day. This is Customs and Border Patrol. They partner with other agencies, the FBI, the DEA, sharing intel on counterfeit shipments, mainly from China. We got information that it's possibly counterfeit, so we're going to take our time and go through piece by piece. Last year, CBP seized over $32 million worth of counterfeit goods. After you've done this 5,000 times, you start to get this, the feel for what legitimate Nikes might feel like. Chinese! These are not real. It's fine. And Adidas Yeezys may be the pinnacle of this exploding illegal industry. Red carpets, runways, all over Instagram. These Kanye West designed kicks are everything. Knit upper, chunky sole, but buyer beware. Genuine Yeezys retail for around 200 bucks a pop, but they're so rare, sell out so fast, that what amount to sneaker speculators are selling them massive markups. How much are we talking for these? Uh, 12, 1,200, 700, uh, maybe 700, 1,000, 1,500. 1,500 bucks for those? Yep. I'll explain the mask in just a minute. It's like the stock market. One, one day it's worth 500, next day it's 1,000, and it just all comes down to how many they're available. These are all real, but that shortage now fueling a counterfeiting explosion. And some fakes so good that many consumers are turning to unofficial authenticators online. There's certain things that fakes have that real ones don't. Yeezy Buster uh -huh. calls out the fakes daily to his hundreds of thousands of followers. He says the mask hiding his identity for fear of being okay, sued. I'm a 19-year-old from Los Angeles, and I'm a med student. It's not a crime to buy this stuff. So you're going to have the consumer demand. People like nice things. Yeah, I mean, you walk around L.A., you'll see at least like 10 people wearing these. Probably eight or nine of them will be fake. Mostly made in China, factories churning out thousands of counterfeits. The differences are subtle, like labels, color variation, and sole thickness. What's the difference? Uh, well, basically, this pair you can get off fake Chinese websites, and these ones like are authentic. He offers a Yeezy verification service. For 10 bucks, he'll tell you if your Yeezys are legit or not. The request arrives by email as we're talking. This label already looks good to me. And you got to see if the serial numbers match up. Everything here looks good. A lot of the fakes, the, the line like ends over here. So see how it kind of fades out right, right. here? And then I would just send them real. And just my initials and send. And that's just how it works. Good little service. Some people know their Yeezys are fake and don't care. They just want them real or not. But if you do care, how can you tell? Are these both real? No. One of them's fake and one of them's real. I don't know if you can take a look at them. I think these are fake. Those ones are actually the real ones. This is a decent fake, yeah. Uh, if this is on someone's foot, it would be pretty difficult to tell. There are plenty of how-to tutorials on YouTube. So I'm going to be talking about how to spot a fake sneaker site. Basically, look at the detail. The suede on the real one is a little nicer, and... The Adidas logo is heat printed on the real one, whereas on the fake, it's like glossy. And the sole. I mean, you could even feel it with your hands. Like, this is like much more squishy. 
And you could tell that this is uh, legit and this isn't. I, I could not tell the difference. Really? <laughs> no. All of this easier to do if you have them in your hand or on your foot. The fakes aren't nearly as comfortable, too. I think they're kind of ugly. You think so? <laughs> I do. For the sellers of the fake ones, it's a lucrative game. An average distributor makes anywhere from eighty to $150,000 a month. A month? A month. So that's over a million dollars a year. And the punishments, if caught, are a lot more lenient than for, say, narcotics trafficking. At the end of the day, this is a property crime, so it's not a big deal. And our judicial system, obviously, it's lenient towards property crime. I just work here. Back on that raid in Inglewood, the store clerk is under arrest. The clerk was cited for selling counterfeit goods. She cooperated. We cooperated what she said, and we did some undercover buys. And, at um, different stores? At different stores, uh -huh. and specifically the supplier. So you managed from that raid to get to the main supplier? Correct. The store's owner, an alleged supplier, was later arrested. Police telling us they found a storeroom packed with fakes, and they will pursue charges. It was a lot. Hundreds. Hundreds? hundreds. Yeah. The whole back end was covered with uh, sneakers. All of them counterfeit? Yes. Every yes. single one? Every single one. I'm Nick Watt for Nightline in Los Angeles.